since I've done a video on a research paper, and that's because there has been a while since a research paper has caught my eye, but this particular research paper has caught my eye for a few different reasons. This paper is called Transformer Squared Self-Adaptive LLMs, and it's put out by Sakana AI, as well as the Institute of Science of Tokyo, Japan. And this paper caught my eye very specifically because of who put it out, Sakana AI. Um, and then I understand that most people <laughs> don't understand the uh, behind the scenes of these things nearly as well as like anyone. But so um, within this, two of the original creators of uh, and authors of attention are uh, is all you need are um, executives within Sakana AI. Um, and then so it's kind of uh, Transformer Squared. Uh, it's, you know, like big to put out um, that name for a paper, right? But if there is someone that would put out a paper for Transformer Squared, uh, it would be two of the original authors of Attention is All You Need to me. Um, and then it's also interesting to me because uh, like Transformer Architecture and refining the Transformer Architecture is not the typical space that Sakana AI plays in. They play very specifically within evolutionary algorithms and genetic algorithms. Uh, and then so to have them put out a paper that is an improvement on transformers means that uh, they were doing this like on the side to me, right? Like this isn't their um, primary focus. So they wouldn't have put out this paper if they hadn't um, made significant improvements on the architecture enough to call it transformer squared. And then so Rather than dissecting the paper itself, to me, it's it's just far easier to to go into the code and look at um, what the major improvements are on the model. And so I'll talk about the model training and fine tuning itself because that's um, an important aspect of this model. But the uh, biggest, like uh, the the first thing to focus on within this model. So the first thing that I've done is I've broken down a uh, traditional transformer block versus the uh, transformers squared block. Um, and then so we can see the differences. And then they're, they're um, slight just when we're looking at just the block. This is just the block itself, right? Um, and then so when we go down to the uh, feed forward mechanism, so starting here um, and then here, what we can see uh, is that we have essentially a few differences with the attention layer, right? So this is the attention layer, and then this is the dropout. Uh, and then here we've got one additional line of code um, within the attention layer, right? So we're building in this this um, scaled attention mechanism or like this um, SVF scaling. And that's kind of like what all of this is, is built upon, right, is that this um, SVF fine tuning. Um, and then so looking at more than just the block. So the block itself, it's, it's primarily this SVF um, fine tuning focus is the, the majority of the code. Um, looking at the full Transformers 2 architecture model here, you can see here we have more of the blown up SVF module and what this module is actually doing. So it's um, essentially allowing us to scale individual vectors and, and treat individual vectors as an expert model is the bottom line of what this architecture is doing. Uh, and then you can see that here with the second block, right? So a transformer squared block with SVF and expert vectors. And then so what we're doing and what this architecture does is it takes individual vectors or individual groups of vectors, which would be like a, or pram, like a, a vectors. And then it, you train those individual groups of vectors um, to be an expert vector. So let's say on a specific subject, mathematics, coding, et cetera, right? And then you, very narrow training, very, very narrow data set. And this training is all via reinforcement learning. So uh, all of the recent recent advancements with regards towards implementing PPO and uh, policies with regards towards training LLM models, uh, Monte Carlo uh, simulation uh, for the um, back propagation of the training. I make a few videos on um, LLM are reinforcement learning with back propagation, but that's essentially what they're doing for the training. Uh, but they're training 
individual vectors to become expert vectors, right? So they're essentially just training like very small and very narrow models. Uh, and then let's say they train 100 of these, uh, uh, 200, 300, and then very narrow. Like, so think of it very narrowly, right? Like rather than having a math expert, you would have um, a multiplication expert, a division expert, subtraction, uh, addition, etc., right? And then so you could get to that level of granularity with these experts. And then you stack them on top of each other. Uh, and then the goal being that the model can call uh, each one of the individual vectors at any point, um, and then it can use the combination uh, of them as a whole, right? So this is a mixture of experts uh, architecture that's trained via reinforcement learning. Like it's all reinforcement learning as far as the, the training and then self reinforcement learning for the model. And then the model itself uh, from there is very straightforward uh, as far as the overall transformers architecture, right? So kind of just breaking down transformers squared compared to transformers. Uh, first of all, your major difference is, is with uh, training the expert vectors with reinforcement learning. So the process is, is that you take a smaller, more parameter efficient model, like very, very small model, and then you fine tune the very small model via that SVF method, right? That singular value fine tuning method uh, that adjusts the attention mechanism and then makes this a uh, very sparse model and very lightweight overall. And then so uh, this adjusts the only the singular values of uh, the model's weight matrices and then so during training, the model interacts with the environment, receives rewards, uh, etc. So this is, you know, all 100% reinforcement learning uh, that the model is trained off of up front. Then you essentially, you utilize these uh, trained individualized vectors as your mixture of experts. So you have modularity within this, uh, right? So when a new input arrives, the very first thing that it does is it classifies the task. So uh, you, uh, you classify the task uh, and then based off of the classification of the task incoming to the model, it then activates the relevant um, vectors that are required. Um, and then this process is via fine tuning, right? This is why you fine tune the model so that it can do this effectively and efficiently. Uh, and then so this allows for extreme efficiency because uh, you're only do you're doing this with very few parameters and then you're only retraining very few parameters each time that you have to do anything. This is very scalable because rather than uh, creating a new neural network or a new network over every time, which is like one of the major uh, problems with models overall, right? Like uh, Llama 1 compared to Llama 2 compared to Llama 3 or ChatGPT 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 0, 0, 1, et cetera. These are all different models, right? Whereas with this architecture, this solves that problem because essentially uh, your entire architecture is just stacking these vectors together, these these trained expert vectors together. Uh, and then so think of them like each one of these individual expert vectors is a skill module. Uh, and then so you don't have to rebuild a whole entire model every time that you want to change something within the model. You just add or remove skill modules. Uh, and then so it makes this model much more robust overall, uh, uh, more robust, more efficient, more scalable, and uh, allows for continual learning, which is a big pro uh, problem. It solves essentially all of the problems with the modern transformer architecture, right? Which makes perfect sense. Again, upfront, these are two of the authors of attention is all you need, right? So if anyone is like thinking of these problems and will tell you that there's problems with the transformer architecture, it's the authors of the paper, right? And, and so, uh, this is their improvement and their improvement of it is pretty good. Like it solves all of the problems and all the criticisms that people are knocking within this. But major ones being uh, it's pure reinforcement learning based. So solves all of those issues with regards towards labeling, um, supervised learning, all the problems that people have there. Um, and then it's uh, environment, it's <laughs> uh, environment, uh, interaction with the environment during the training, which is big overall. Uh, and then the scalability of this model, right? That, that, um, scalable individual skill modules is very significant. That SVF, the singular value fine tuning, um, is makes it just very efficient overall uh, of an architecture, far better than transformers. I, I would label it as transformer squared. And then so I'll leave a, I'll leave a link to both the research paper and this collab notebook uh, in the description for this video. Thank you very much.